In this demo, we're just going to quickly show how we can remote debug a, an application that's running on a BeagleBone from Visual Studio. So I'm connected to my BeagleBone using uh, Putty uh, and have an SSH session set up. I'm going to start my Node application. Uh, typically, I, I started like this, uh, uh, the application name. But I'm not going to do that. Because I want a remote dug, debug, I'm going to use the remote debug proxy. So instead of doing that, I'm going to stop. I'm going to back up and just go node uh, remote debug. I've previously loaded this file. Uh, this is the proxy file that uh, uh, does the communication to Visual Studio, giving us the information we need so that we can do the remote debugging. And then I just enter my application. I can type it right. And now our application has started. Now let's go back to Visual Studio. And what we want to do is attach to the remote debugging proxy. So we'll go to the debug uh, menu, attach the process. And what we'll want to do is use a uh, transport, which is the node remote debugging transport. And we know that our uh, BeagleBone is located at the following address and we have to use this port number which is the port number uh, uh, the remote proxy is using so we refresh and see if we can find it there there indeed is our application and let's attach to it once we're attached we can use the powerful tools of uh, Visual Studio for example we know that we have a set interval every uh, thousand milliseconds one second to read the temperature. Let's see if we can stop that. And we're going to set a breakpoint there, and sure enough, we've got the breakpoint set. We can take a look at the temperature location and uh, what we're going to do with the temperature. We're going to uh, uh, send it to send the temperature, and we can actually send a breakpoint here and uh, go. And we can look at our data, and our data now is uh, 53 um, degrees C. And uh, so we have a full debugging session uh, available to us for Visual Studio uh, on it uh, connected to my remote BeagleBone. Uh, hopefully that helps, and, but that's a quick uh, uh, video to show you how you can debug from Visual Studio. Thanks.